This recording is for Michael. The need for the Bumitoko Ministries is better explained when we look at certain stories. For example, I met a guy in his 20s. He came from a loving family from a faraway country. He was very charming and had great social skills, but they were all misplaced. Through loving relationships and strong discipleship program, he has now become a strong Christian leader a pastor, a disciple maker with a passion for God and God's word. He is also married, is responsible for local and international affairs, is an influencer in the global space. He is Michael Wangili Tete. We want to transform more people like him. Let's look at another story. Here is a girl that I met when she was in secondary school from a very large family, although sometimes they were just absent. She had a fair share of troubles that teenagers have, but through loving relationships and a strong discipleship program, she has just blossomed. Today, she's a strong Christian leader. She's a disciple maker, and she has an unquenchable passion for God. She's a manager of businesses. She's a pastor's wife. And she's an assistant youth pastor. Her name is Daisy Celestine. And we want to transform more people like her. Another story is a young boy that I met when he was 14. He came from a single parent home. He got involved with the wrong friends and he was fast heading for gang, drugs or prison. It was going to be one of those three. Through fathering, regular visits, a strong discipleship program, God changed his life. Today, is a strong Christian leader, is a youth leader in his church, is happily married, he has a strong commitment for young people, and is a member and officer in the Metropolitan Police Force in the UK. We want to transform more people like him. Let's look at another story. I met a woman when she was in her 20s, from a very good home. She suffered from poor self-esteem, lack of confidence, without a strong sense of direction either. But through business activities and strong discipleship program, she has radically changed. Today, she's a strong Christian model. She's a disciple maker, a deacon in a church, exemplary passion for God. She's a public speaker, an author, a budding entrepreneur. She's happily married with two children. She's a project manager for a youth organization. She is Jennifer Oluwalano, and we want to transform more people like her. So what do we do now? Well, we form strong relationships with people. Then we take them through a personal discipleship program. And at the end of it all, they have a transformed life in Christ. My role is to organize the internal structure to continuously share the gospel of Jesus and to make these disciples with other people as well. Our first goal is to raise a hundred disciples into strategic positions. It's a place where they're gonna have influence so that the word of Christ will continue to spread. What's your role? Well, if you look at this tree, the red fruits, they are the disciples that come out at the end of it all. The stem is the structure. That's where I come in. And then your role is to join our support team with regular financial contribution, regular prayer, and a commitment to the long-term vision of the ministry. So the question is, do you want to join our team of those who regularly contribute financially, who pray for the ministry, and who are committed to the long-term vision that I've just showed you.